Assembly of lift landing door frame. Two plumb lines in door with size are thrown into the lift shaft where lift landing door is to be hanged. Pro lift landing door package is opened. Their assemblies are done at level by metric 12 steel dowels supplied by assembler company which will be two in number to be mounted to wall at each seal bracket and in a way these brackets being 4 cm below the ground concrete. In order to collect lift landing door elements, i.e. sill plate, side frames and frame upper plate outside the lift shaft, mounting of the parts on a flat and clean surface is initiated. Firstly, connection of side frames and sill brackets are made without complete tightening by a total of four painted bolts with 5 allen metric 10 multiplied 18 thin imbus head. Frame upper rail plate side door frames are connected without complete tightening by a total of four bolts with metric 8 multiplied 16 washer head and hexagon head. After side frame's lower sill and frame upper plate is made 90 degrees mitered on a flat surface, all connection bolts, which have not been tightened completely, are tightened carefully. Lift landing door frames of each floor is made ready in this way. Lift landing door frame in blocks, which was installed in a mitered attitude, is seated on sill plate. All sill plate lower bracket connections are completed in a way using hexagon head, metric 10 multiplied 25 bolt, hexagon head nut and washer, as well as a set of bolt nut washer for each bracket. The assembly of upper brackets is made at level by metric 12 steel dowels, which will be two in number to be mounted to wall at each bracket and to be supplied by the assembler company. The connection between frame upper rail plate and upper bracket is completed using hexagon head, metric 10 multiplied 25 bolt and metric 10 square head nut and washer, provided that there is one set at each bracket. Side brackets are placed being two each at both sides of side frames. Connection of the bracket to the wall is made by metric 10 steel dowel and connection of the bracket to the frame is made by hexagon head metric 8 multiplied 12 bolt hexagon head nut and washer. Assembly of lift landing door frame and mechanism block. While mechanism block is seated onto upper frame, the lock shaft which is mounted inside the frame upper shaft should be held perpendicular to mechanism's body shaft and pass through unlocking lever hole contained in the mechanism body. In the assembly of lift landing door mechanism block, since two out of four bolts are mounted on mechanism body, these bolts are disassembled, completely brought onto frame upper shaft and then connected on right and left frame heads by a total of four painted bolts with 5 allen metric 10 multiplied 18 thin imbus head. The moving panel on the mechanism is connected to the holes located at the base of connection cars by custom manufactured metric 10 panel suspension rod, washer head hexagon head two nuts and washer head hexagon head 
metric 8 multiplied 16 bolt being 2 each for each panel. Then it is proceeded with the assembly of aluminum lower sill rails. Here the connection of lower rail to lower sill plate is made by 4 square head metric 8 multiplied 12 bolts per each rail and washer head nut. During the assembly of each aluminum rail, make sure that narrow ear of the rail is mounted in a way to face floor concrete. U-form sill gator molding is plate onto sill plate to fill sill plate lower rail gap. Lift landing door bottom plate is connected to sill plate by two washer head and hexagon head metric 6 multiplied 10 bolt. In order to complete fire molding assembly, the fire molding in the package is connected onto metric 6 rivet nuts located at narrow side of the panels by metric 6 multiplied 10 hexagon head and flange bolt. The holes at head sections of door panels are laid a bit perpendicular in a way to correspond with panel suspension. Panel fine adjustments are made at level, then the assembly of panels on panel suspension is completed by screwing washer head hexagon head metric 10 nut. While making the assembly of door panels, make sure that the holes between frame panel, panel panel, and panel sill plate are 5 mm or less. The center of guide channel on aluminum sill and the center of guide valve fixation hole located under the door panel should be equalized vertically when the panel is at free oscillation. Otherwise, physical force should be applied to the panel and assembly of lower guide should not be started until this condition is provided. Panel guide valves are first laid and raised on aluminum sill and then fixed by screwing washer head hexagon head metric 8 multiplied 16 bolt being 2 at each panel into the holes located under panel plates. The connection of panel guide valve panel plate is completed. The 3 mm thick rope which is mounted inside the mechanism block and the perforated plate connection hook at its end are tied to the spring which is 39 cm long and have 22 mm outside diameter and available in the package and the other end of spring is tied to internal support plate at side frame through the wire hook already tied to the spring and finally the assembly of lift landing door is completed.